Welcome back! By now, you have a pretty good idea of the foods that will help you tackle blood sugar. Today is our day to get started. Diet changes can be powerful, so we'll also talk about what happens if your blood sugar drops too low. It's really important, so stand by. Okay, last time we talked about making a list of foods that are free of animal products and are low in fat. Did you get a chance to jot down the ones that you would like? If not, it's a good idea to do that now. Think about breakfasts, lunches, and dinners that you'd like and jot them down. Go back to the previous episode, if you need to, for ideas about great options. Once you have your list of foods that you would really like to eat, it's time for the next step, which is to jump in and eat them. For the next three weeks, we are going to follow an entirely plant-based diet. That means no animal products at all. By now, that's easy because you can do anything for three weeks and you already have a list of your favorites. Some people like to break this down into two steps, focusing on changing only their breakfast for the first week and then also changing their lunches and dinners during the next week. That's okay. In any case, when you are ready, give yourself three weeks with no animal products and keeping oils low. By the end of the 21 days, two things will have happened. First, you will see physical changes. You are likely to lose some weight, feel more energetic, see some improvements in your blood sugar, and have better digestion. Second, your taste will change in a good way. You will find that you've started to lose your taste for unhealthful foods and you are discovering new healthy tastes. After three weeks, if you like where this is going, stick with it. The benefits will continue to add up. Okay, let's talk about blood sugar. This is particularly important for people who are currently taking insulin or certain other diabetes medications. Eating a plant-based diet is powerful for increasing insulin sensitivity. So it's important to work with your healthcare provider and monitor your blood glucose as you make dietary changes so adjustments can be made to your medications as needed. When you start eating a low-fat plant-based diet, your blood sugar can decrease quickly. And if you're taking strong medications at the same time, sometimes your blood sugar can drop too low. This is hypoglycemia. And the main symptoms to look out for are feeling dizzy, lightheaded, hungry, shaky, sweaty, nervous, grumpy, or, or even confused. These are some of the things that can be caused by a low blood sugar. Now, some medications are more likely than others to cause hypoglycemia. So talk with your healthcare provider about your medications and about the dietary change that you want to make. Now, this is really important since some medications can become too strong within a matter of days of making a diet change. Ask your healthcare provider about what blood glucose number is too low for you. Some providers will say, if your blood sugar is less than, say, 100 milligrams per deciliter, it's time to reduce your medications. Others might set a lower figure, but it's important not to let it fall too low because that can be dangerous. Check your blood sugar daily as you make diet changes, and check it any time that you feel any of the symptoms that I just mentioned. And if you've had high blood sugar for a long period of time, your body might not be used to the lower levels and you might feel symptoms at a different point than somebody else. Now, if your blood sugar is too low or if it's lower than whatever figure your healthcare provider has given you, you need to eat something that raises your blood sugar quickly. And that could be any of the following. Glucose tablets, enough to provide 15 grams of glucose, a half a cup of fruit juice, or a sugared soda, not diet soda. It's got to be sugared soda. One to two teaspoons of sugar or five to six pieces of hard candy. Have this food, then check your blood sugar again in 15 minutes. And if it is still low, have another serving and check again. Hypoglycemia can happen at night too. And telltale signs are nightmares, crying out in your sleep, excessive perspiration or awakening with confusion or unusual tiredness. If you're not sure, you can always set an alarm for 2 or 3 a.m. and check your blood sugar. If hypoglycemia occurs, it means that your medications are likely too strong for you. So,
be in touch with your doctor the same day as the episode occurs. Do not put it off. It's important that your medications be adjusted. Now, don't do this on your own. Do it in consultation with your health care provider. Now, let's say a word about alcohol. While there are many health concerns surrounding the consumption of alcohol, people taking medications for diabetes should be extra cautious. Alcohol can cause hypoglycemia. To further complicate things, the symptoms of hypoglycemia are similar to those of intoxication, slurred speech, drowsiness, confusion, or difficulty walking. So it can be difficult to tell the two apart. Hypoglycemia can strike hours after your last drink, especially if you've been exercising. So it's best to limit alcohol consumption. If you drink alcohol at all, never drink on an empty stomach. In addition to blood sugar getting better, it is also likely that your blood pressure will improve. If you are on blood pressure medications, your healthcare provider may need to reduce them or even stop them. That is because the combination of medications plus a very healthy diet can bring your blood pressure down too far. A common sign of low blood pressure is being dizzy when you stand up. So keep an eye on your blood pressure. Have your healthcare provider check it and be sure to report any symptoms you may have so that your medications can be adjusted as needed. A low blood sugar or low blood pressure does not mean you have done anything wrong. These effects are caused by medications. When you start a really healthy diet, it is common to not need such strong medication doses, but be sure to talk with your healthcare provider about medication changes rather than trying to adjust the medications on your own.